I've always seen him around. I've always heard him. I cannot imagine not seeing them around. So Carnaby's cockatoos are an endangered black cockatoo species that's endemic to the southwest of WA. We're really fortunate in the sense that the birds inhabit our urban landscapes, so it's really common for members of the public to see them around their homes, their workplaces and around schools. However, the population of Carnaby's cockatoos is declining rapidly and we're at risk of losing this species if we don't act now to help try and save them. The Keep Carnaby's Flying Who Likes Forever project is a large-scale community engagement project to help save our endangered Carnaby's cockatoos, or Ngulaks, which is a Noongar name for these birds. This project was funded by Lottery West and it aims to help safeguard the future of our Ngulaks by working to protect and rewild local urban areas with native plant species in order to provide food and habitat for the birds and also providing water which can help mitigate against heat stress. When you first hear them, it's usually around Easter time. And for me, that used to tell me that the salmon are coming around the capes down south and they soon be coming to where I am in Mandra. They tell me that. But now I've noticed them down on the flatlands more. And earlier, they, they seem confused. And I believe that's to do with uh, their owns being knocked out. So hopefully uh, we can, um, well, be the caretakers for the cockatoos as well and make sure that um, we stop the numbers declining. So here at Murdoch University, we're working in affiliation with the Harry Butler Institute and Nankira Institute for Change. And we're working with local governments, Aboriginal elders and organisations and environmental and wildlife NGOs to undertake community-led conservation activities for black cockatoos. Based on our scientific research, whereby we've been tracking black cockatoos across the Perth Peel region, uh, we're able to use this information to inform the development of conservation action plans for each specific council to assist them with conservation management of black cockatoos in their local area. As part of the Keep Carnaby's Flying Woolarks Forever project, we will be working with local governments to undertake revegetation activities in order to provide more habitat for the birds. We'll be identifying key threatening processes and we'll be providing our cocky troughs at key locations to ensure that the birds have water and help mitigate against heat stress. So our project has a dedicated website that contains a lot of information about what the community can do to help save our beloved Carnaby's cockatoos. So we really hope that beyond the lifetime of this particular project, that the local governments, our NGOs, alongside Friends of Bushland groups can continue to rewild our urban spaces to ensure that there is increasing habitat for our beloved mullarks, our Carnaby's cockatoos. Trees take a long time to grow. And these are the homes of these birds, these magnificent birds. I cannot imagine a time when they, they won't be around. So that, I believe, will not happen with all these other tribes involved in being caretakers.